What's up guys? Thanks for tuning in today's video. As you saw from the title, it's that time again where Sephora is doing their VIB sale. This year, I am Rouge. Which means I spent quite a bit of coins, but you know, we on quarantine, nothing else to do. I love makeup. You guys know years of my channel. That's what we love over here. So, if you want to know what I picked up from the Sephora VIB Rouge sale, go ahead and continue watching. Before I jump into these two boxes that you see was delivered here, I want to share with you guys the couple of things that I picked up from, from the Sephora Friends and Family sale that happened about two weeks ago. I only picked up four things, so this will be nice and quick. The first thing that I picked up here is the, who makes this? Oh, Giorgio Armani, My Way. This is their travel. I told you guys in my last haul that um, when I picked up, I'm actually wearing this today, the Dolce and Gabbana Shine. I'm getting more into like the travel size sprays because I just have too many perfumes and I still always want to try more. So to try the new ones, I tried to get the smaller version, like the travel spray, make sure I like it, wear it, make sure I like it. So this one is My Way by Giorgio Armani. And I always get the sprays. If it doesn't come in a travel spray, if it's like a rollerball, I can't stand it. So if it has a travel spray, then I'll go ahead and indulge. This smells nice and sweet. It smells like... It actually smells like an Avon scent that I remember from back in the days. But it's nice and sweet. I smelled this the other day when I got... Well, I smelled, I sprayed it before when I had first got the package. And the dry down on this is so nice and light and beautiful. Like, I really, really like this spray. So, also picked up the Hourglass Ambient Lang Blush in the shade at night this is one of their newer blushes and i thought this would be brown girl friendly this is actually the blush that i have on today i actually if you want to see this this look that i have going on today i use quite a bit of new products and also a lot of my sephora recommendations that video will be coming after this video so stay tuned but the blush that i'm wearing is this um oh i'm lying i didn't put this blush on i showed you this blush but i didn't wear this blush i was sure enough about to put some more on but it wouldn't hurt you guys can see it on me there's going to be a lot of that in this video because, you know, new products, you want to slide, you want to see how it looks. I did wear this blush before, though, and I really, really like this blush. I love hourglass blushes pretty. Um, I love hourglass blushes already. Um, I do own a different one. I think it's like Mood Exposure or something like that. It's the Pinky Blush, and that one is really potent. This one is not as potent and high pigmented, but, you know, these blushes can be built up, and it's really, really pretty. The Hourglass Blushes, the Hourglass Blushes has that same ambient technology where everything just glides on so smooth, it looks like skin, and it reflects off the light in such pretty ways. So definitely went ahead and picked that up. I'll give you guys a swatch, but with blushes, you really can't swatch blushes because it really doesn't show the true pigmentation. But that is the blush swatch there on my hand. I don't know if you can see it, but that's it on my cheeks that I just put on top of the blush that I was wearing before. Also picked up the Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette. And I picked up the shade Copper Gold. Um, for the holidays, they I think they came out with like three different palettes of different shades. And mine came broken. The top two shades do fall out. I contacted Sephora. They've already shipped me a new one, but I do, being that I'm doing a Sephora sale, Hole, I do want to show, share it with you. I'm going to swatch these. That first top shade, really glittery, but the other three are really smooth and pretty. So those are the blushes swatched there on my hands. And those are the four blushes down there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but that's them swatched there on my hand. I was really excited to get that. I don't know, and I'm wearing those bottom two shades on my face today from this glow palette as well. So really excited to get one that's not broken but i'm happy to have this in my collection nonetheless it's really pretty blends in really smoothly and looks really flawless and then last but not least i went ahead and picked up one of my favorite serums for the summer for the summer for the winter the colder months i definitely like to get this Codely vino source sos there's quenching serum one of my favorite serums Codely products are so good and i saw this set so this is a $87 value and the set is only $49 and of course you get 20% on top of that so I wanted to go ahead and get it. It also comes with the Cream SOS Hydration Intense 
which I don't think I've tried this product from Caudalie, so I'm excited about that. And then there's also an instant foaming cleanser in this set. So really nice. I thought that was a good set to pick up, especially since I was I would buy the Caudalie serum by itself, not in a set. So the fact that I paid the price of the serum and got two extra products on the side is really nice. Now let's go ahead and get into these boxes here. I haven't touched anything. These just came today. So as you know, the sale just started yesterday and my packages came today. So kudos to you Sephora for pushing these orders out. I appreciate it. There is one more order that I placed. Um, we'll talk about it when I get there. All right, first thing we see on top is a Charlotte Tilbury blush. And I wanted to pick up another one of her cheek to cheek blushes. Um, the blush that I was wearing before I put on that um, hourglass blush just now, I was wearing the Pillow Talk Intense blush. Really love that blush. Love the formula and everything, so I wanted to pick up another one. And I picked up the shade Walk of No Shame, which I'm pretty sure is one of her, part of her newer collection. She dropped a whole bunch of things that have the name Walk of No Shame. And I picked up the blush. I had to push, pull up the Pillow Talk Intense blush. This is the blush that I already had in my collection. But doesn't this blush look like pretty similar? No, actually, Walk of Shame, Walk of No Shame looks a little deeper. So these are the two blushes side by side. I'm going to give you quick swatches. Again, blush is not a product that you can really swatch like that. But this is the Pillow Talk Intense blush. And then I'm going to go ahead and swatch Walk of No Shame. Yeah, it's definitely deeper. It looks more like a... I don't want to say... It, almost like a terracotta color compared to the other one this one has a little bit more shine to it i think and definitely has the same smoothness i don't know if you can see this but what i'm the reason why charlotte tilbury blushes look like it's a little titty is because the outside is pretty much like a satin matte kind of finish and then you just pop your brush after you swirl around that matte part you just tap your brush in that middle just to get a little bit of glow and it's oh so pretty so i'm so happy to have this in my collection can't wait to put that on my cheeks because i've definitely been loving pillow talk intense next up i see the rare beauty liquid touch weightless foundation i picked up the shade 450n and i really hope it will match me because i match myself yeah, it looks like it's gonna be a pretty good match what do you guys think so this is what rare beauty packaging looks like nice and cute if you don't know, Rare Beauty is a new company by Selena. This is a Dofla applicator. I'm just going to put a little drop of that. Oh, oh, shoot. This foundation is hella runny. I'm sitting here spilling the foundation out. So y'all got to be careful with this foundation. Don't do like me and waste your product. Because I definitely just spilled some out on my chair. And I'm so glad my legs was open so I didn't get on my clothes. So anyway, this is the swatch of it. I'm going to blend it out so you guys can see. So I think that'll be a decent shade match for me. I usually tend to try to get um, neutral undertone foundations because I think I have pretty much a neutral, like a golden neutral undertone. But it blended into my hand really nicely and it feels really good actually. It feels really emollient. So for my dry skin, I think that'll be nice. That's why I wanted to pick this up. I was looking at the... NARS foundation and I who knows I may get it before the sale is over I was looking into that but then I know me and my dry skin it's winter time I thought this would be a better look so definitely be on the lookout I'll definitely I know y'all probably tired of seeing people's rare beauty videos but you ain't seen mine so I'm gonna be doing one so definitely be on the lookout for a video featuring the rare beauty foundation also from rare beauty I went ahead and picked up oh this is her concealer blush concealer there was actually a brush that had the same shape on Ulta's website from Zoeva and then by the time I went to order it it was gone I don't know if they don't sell it no more if it sold out I don't know but it was gone so when I seen Rare Beauty come out with one and who was that here on YouTube um Mel Thompson she really likes this brush she really likes this brush so I said let me give it a try it is sealed really nicely let's see has some kind of has some plastic here I'm definitely gonna have to sweep because I'm just tossing things to the side so oh it feels really nicely too so I don't know if you guys can see again I'll have close-ups of everything but it has that angle so it should fit right in between those little crevices where you want to conceal because 
I can use it for concealer, I can use it for my color corrector, things like that. So it feels really nice. So yeah, I'm really excited to try out that brush as well. And along with the Red Beauty Foundation and Concealer Brush, of course I picked up the concealer. I grabbed the shade 440C, which I'm guessing the C stands for cool. And it just looks like a little mini bottle of the foundation that they have. Very cute. And 440 Cool, same thing. Doe foot applicator, I'm going to just put a drop there. That is the shade of 440. And I think that's a really, a really, really nice match. Like, I don't like my concealers to be too bright on my face. So I think that's going to be really nice. Just, oh, and the coverage is really nice. Oh, guys. So that's it blended out there. It looks really nice. And I'm so excited to try these Red Beauty products. Like, after hearing so many people rave, not rave about it, because I don't fall into raves or anything like that, but everybody was saying that it's really nice, good coverage, and the price ain't so bad either. And then, of course, saving the money on top of that, I thought this was a good time to try that out. So, again, and when I told you guys I, I have a third order coming, that's the third order. I placed the order for that. They have a Red Beauty set that comes with, I think, two of her blushes. It's like liquid brush, two liquid blushes, one of her lip creams, and then one of her lip balms. So I wanted to get a good range of products. So I definitely ordered that. And that is the last product that I'm waiting for from the Sephora sale so far. <laughs> and yeah, once that comes, then we'll definitely sit down and do a whole video featuring the Red Beauty products and I can share my thoughts on these products with you. I'll probably start wearing the concealer and the foundation just to get a good feel of it. And then that way I'll have a better way to share my thoughts with you guys in that video. So definitely stay tuned. If you're not already subscribed here to Kate's Ways, go ahead and subscribe down below if you want to hear more information on that. This is a backup product. I picked up another one of the Tatcha Kisu Lip Mask. My lip mask is actually right here and it's damn near almost done. I'm going to show you, hopefully you can see the comparison. Now it comes with this little spatula. I swear I lost my spatula like the first day I opened it so I'm going to kind of hold that close to my heart this time. But yeah, so you can see this is the full one with Hella product and then this is the one that I've already used and little to no product. So I love this mask. I know a lot of people love that Laneige lip mask. To me, it wasn't necessarily a lip mask. The Laneige is something that I put on at any given time of day, which not that I, not to say that I don't put this on at any given time of day, but this, I just feel that it hydration. I feel like if I wear this, my lips are actually really hydrated when I wake up in the morning. So yeah, definitely picked up a backup of my lip mask. Oh yeah, I also picked up a mini of the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. This is, it's only $20 guys, so Tatcha, I'm glad that they started um, coming out with like smaller versions of their product. As you know, I've been on the Tatcha kick lately, I've been buying, a lot, throughout the year, I've been buying a lot of Tatcha skincare products, and I haven't started using any of them as of yet, but I just wanted to add this because I think the moisturizer that I currently have from them is lean more to oily skin, and as you know, I am a dry skin girl, especially coming into these cooler months. So I wanted to get the touch of Dewy Skin Cream and give it a try and see how that works out for my skin. So yeah, I'll keep you guys updated on that. Next up, um, there's a sample in here. It is just in the bag, that's weird. So the sample here is Dolce & Gabbana Garden. So I'll definitely smell that as well. Like I said, I'm wearing Dolce & Gabbana Shine right now. So you know, Dolce & Gabbana has so many different, oh, Dolce Garden. Like I said, that was Dolce Shine that I'm wearing already. And this one is Dolce Garden. So let me smell that. First, I'm going back to my way. My way smells so good. It has that almost exotic vibe, like not coconut. It doesn't smell like coconut, but it gives me that exotic vibe i can't it's so hard for me to describe fragrances but my way is really good and now garden oh this is really sweet this to me is more like summertime though it smells good though i ain't mad at it but this this product i really wanted to try for a long time adawa beauty i hope i'm saying it right this is the adawa beauty biomint leave-in conditioning styler it's made with biobob wintergreen spearmint and peppermint oils and it's for dry textured hair 
Adwa Beauty is a newer brand to Sephora. It is a black owned brand. A black owned brand. So it says do it the kinky way. They give you the little UPC code or whatever that's called where you can scan it. Tells you what the product is and I'm sure it'll take you to their website or whatever. Right here we have all the ingredients and everything. And here on the side it says No one wants to admit just how kinky they are. Don't worry. We are too. Let it ride. Say hello to your new ride or die that will never forsake you. Directions. The product by you. So I've always wanted to try this. I thought about getting the deep conditioner that they mentioned as well, but there were so many different mixed reviews on that deep conditioner. I have plenty of deep conditioners here already. So I figured a leave-in, I can never go wrong with a leave. Uh, hopefully I can't go wrong because this is like a $24 product if I'm not mistaken. But it's a price, it's a pretty big bottle. It's 14 ounces. So I think you get a lot of product for your money. So I'm really excited to try this out on my hair. There is a little seal here with the AB for Adawa Beauty. I'm going to peel that off just because I want to smell it and see what it smells like. If it smells minty. Oh yeah definitely has that minty vibe going on so yeah we'll come back you know i'll definitely share my thoughts with you guys soon on this product oh well here's the casing for that sample that we had in here and then i have another sample of the lancome idolate which i have plenty of samples of that they're trying to get people to get that sephora credit card which will get us in more trouble Two? Really? With that Sephora get credit card? They ain't playing no games. And the last product in here, you guys know how I feel about the Sephora safe how I feel about the Sephora favorite sets. Always a good always a good look during these sales. It's a $124 value. You only pay $68. And of course during this time you get the discount price as well. Sephora favorites, their little samplers are the best. And as a matter of fact, Just Peachy D here on YouTube, I was watching her video earlier where she was sharing a lot of the gift sets. I'll link her video down below so you can check her out. But she was mentioning that she picked up, well, she showed that she picked up the mascara set and it comes with a pair of lashes and everything. And I was kind of thinking of that because I do want to try, I've been wanting to try the Anastasia Beverly Hills mascara and the Pat McGrath mascara. And in that set, you get a full size Pat McGrath set, a Pat, full size Pat McGrath mascara. So. That was kind of intriguing to me, but for now, I just picked up the perfume sampler. These sets are the perfect sets to give during Christmas time, during the holidays, because then if you don't know which perfume they actually get somebody, they get to sample all, what is these? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen 13. 13 different fragrances they get to sample. And then inside here, you get a voucher. Oh, this is cute. So this is hi, beautiful. Welcome to your very own at home fragrance experience. This will guide you through how to discover your new favorite fragrances and which sample to redeem for a full size in the store. So inside the box, you get a, you'll get this, it's called a scent certificate that you can bring to Sephora and then you can get a full size. It'll be like the one, 1 1.6 ounce of one, any of these scents that's in the set. So the set you know the samples that you get are like the mini little spray sets that we get free with orders but the fact that you actually can redeem this for a full-size product is everything to me so, so yeah i always like to indulge in these little sets like that especially when it comes to perfumes because that way if i do decide to get that my way fragrance or even a valentino let me tell you i smelled a sample of valentino from an ultra order that i ordered last week oh my god that smells so good too so It'll be one or the other, or even the ombre leather. I actually picked up just recently um, the Burberry Her. I got that from Ulta. One of my favorites is Versace Bright Crystal, really nice. Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue, that's never been, I've never been like a super fan of that one, but they have a good variety. A little bit of something for everybody, you know? So these sets are always a good look, and I'm actually gonna get the men's version for Babe. I'm actually probably gonna go in the store to get that. I didn't order it yet, but I'm probably gonna go pick up the men's one for Babe, because if you didn't know, our birthdays are coming up. Scorpio's season is here. What up, my fellow Scorpios? And there's going to be a lot of holding within the next couple of weeks, guys. And I'm going to tell you now, it's because it's my birthday. So that's why I have two boxes from Sephora here. But I'm going to go ahead and get the men's version so that Big can go ahead and get him a new scent as well. 
Now let's go ahead and open up the second one. Oh, and it's, I think it's so cute this year. They have the tape that shows you the dates and everything of the sales. <clears throat> I thought that was really cute. Even when my friends and family ordered the tape that they was using, was advertising the sale as well, so. I didn't order this. I have something in here that I didn't even order, but this is the Peter Thomas Roth eye patch party. I didn't order this. It's a 75, damn, it's a 75 US dollar value. This never happens to me. I never get anything that I didn't order. So I am curious, is it on my, it's not on my packing slip either. So I really hope that they didn't leave out something that I did order for something that I didn't order. But something that I did order, another skin tip, another skincare set here. This is from Glow Recipe. It says glow together with watermelon. I've always wanted to try this mist here. It's the watermelon glow ultra fine mist. You guys know I love a good glowy mist at the end of my makeup application. So I wanted to check that out. And then it's also the mini of the watermelon glow sleeping mask. So I thought this was a cute little set. It says it's a $43 value and it's a $34 set. So you definitely get the sets is always the way to go when it comes to the holidays. Like you get to try out so many different things for a low price. Another skincare item that I have here, this is the Fresh Black Tea Kombucha Facial Treatment Oil. Oh, Essence, sorry, Facial Treatment Essence. Now, you guys know I'm a huge fan of fresh products. Absolutely love them. So I wanted to try out a new essence from them. Oh, like you can see like cloudy stuff in it. Is it supposed to be like that? Guys, any of you have this? Is it supposed to have like that cloudy stuff in it? That's interesting. Now I gotta go like look in the store and see if that's how it's supposed to be. But let me know down below if you've tried this and it's supposed to have that cloudy stuff in it. But it says it's anti-pollution age delay. So I'm all about that anti-aging business right now because I told you my birthday's next week and this is my last year of my 30s, okay? So I definitely need some anti-aging. Also in here, I picked up the Bite Beauty Agave. It's called the Starlet Succulents Three Piece Agave and Lip Care Set. So it comes with the mini agave and weekly lip scrub, a mini agave nighttime lip therapy, and then a mini agave intensive treatment lip mask. Funny enough, for years I know I've heard so many people talk about the Bite Beauty products, and I've never tried them. I've tried, I've had some like colorful lip, you know, they have like the, I don't want to say bullet lipsticks, but they're like the lip pencil kind of products. I have a couple of those in my, in my stash, but... These three little minis will give me a good way to test out their products and hopefully they work really nicely for me. I am so into like lip care, especially now with all the masking and everything. All I've been putting on is like usually like a clear balm or something like that. So I thought that would be cool to get. This is my birthday gift. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Sephora Beauty Insider birthday gift for this year it comes with a mini of the magic cream which i absolutely love and it also has the pillow talk jewel lips rose jewel dazzling diamond gloss so yeah we'll try it out oh i used some points and i got a dolce and gabbana the only one all day perfume got a little sample of that love my fragrances so i wanted to try that i'm not going to spread it though because i think i've been spreading enough Got another sample of the Dolce Garden. Also picked up the Master Prep and Set Eye Primer Kit from Makeup by Mario. Not sure if you know, but Mario, I don't know how to say his last name, I'm not gonna say it, but the makeup artist that does Kim Kardashian, you know, I had everybody using banana powder and doing hella contour and all that. Mario Dovanovic, I believe that's how you say it. But he came out with his own brand at Sephora and I wanted to give this a try. So this is the Master Eye Prep and Set. And it basically comes with like, oh, and there's different shades of this. I picked the shade Deep. So these two, it's really at the top. So these two at the top are like a more emollient cream based product that you just use to smooth out your eyeshadow. I mean, smooth out your eyelids before you go in with eyeshadow and then down here you have a powder where you can set it so i thought this was a cute little concept currently the eye primer that i'm using is basically running out so i just thought this would be nice to try out i'm trying to look and make sure i got all my stuff 
Yes, yes. Sephora collection. No, they left out my brushes. That's what's gone. They left out my brushes. So for some reason, they swatched out. They swapped out this Peter Thomas Roth thing, and they didn't include my brushes. But I did try to pick up the eye brush set. Well. It's called the Sephora Collection Bright and Beaming Collection. And it's a, like an eight-piece set of brushes. The brush set. And that's not in the box. I'm so disappointed because I really wanted those brushes. But, man, there is one more thing in this. Damn, they killed my whole order. I'm so sad. I'm sad, but this will make it up. I went ahead and finally, 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 I've never tried a Pat McGrath eyeshadow in my life. And I'm so excited to have this. So this is the Pat McGrath Labs Mothership Mega Celestial Divinity Eyeshadow Palette. Okay, so that packaging is really pretty. Oh, okay, and look, this slides out. Not like a typical eyeshadow. You know, she always gotta add that little extra special touch to it no matter what she does. I know a lot of people were saying like, this cheapened her brand by coming out with like the cardboard packaging for this eyeshadow palette, but her regular eyeshadow palette, it comes in like this real heavy luxury packaging, but they are buck twenty-five each. Like I'm not paying no buck twenty-five for no eyeshadows. This $78, still a little sleep, still a little steep, but with 20% off, you know, I got it. So let's look at her. Oh my gosh. One, two, three, four of my eyeshadows are broken. Five. One, two, three. No, four. Four of the eyeshadows are broken. So, oh, Lord. That just killed my whole vibe. But this is what the eyeshadow palette looks like. Really pretty. Love these colors. Now, the only thing about this eyeshadow palette, you guys know I'm a matte girl. It only has one, two, three mattes inside this palette. So, Mom, then I have to do some work. Have to get to playing and see what we can do with these shadows. But your girl is about to go and contact Sephora like ASAP. I got something that I didn't order. I'm missing something that I did order. This came broken. Like, I understand that they was like, I appreciate them for getting these orders out quickly. I ain't mad at that. But at the same time, you gotta get them right at the same time, you know? This was actually on the bottom, so I can only imagine like with UPS like shifting boxes and stuff, they're probably like just doing it. So for this to be on the bottom of the package and it came broken, which, as you saw, I just got a broken product. I really never, I really ever have this happen to me with Sephora, so I understand. I can kind of understand, but I'm gonna go ahead and contact Sephora and see what they can do for me. Maybe I have to bring this back to the store and swap it out for one that's not broken. Kind of took my joy away from having the palette, but that's neither here nor there. This, I do love eye patches, but I didn't pay for this, I don't want this. And Somebody else that might have ordered this is probably missing that order and probably got my brush set. I don't know how this works, but I'm definitely going to reach out to Sephora, see what they can do for me. Kind of took my joy away from the haul, but still, nonetheless, it is Scorpio season, so you will be seeing more hauls coming this way. I have a haul coming from um, Charlotte Tilbury. I ordered some things from Forever Mood. I'm waiting for, for that to ship. I did not get the full collection that she just dropped. I ordered the gift set of the pre-order that she did of the box gift set and I have, that hasn't shipped as of yet. Um, I got some BoxyCharm add-ons over here. A couple of other things that I just hold within the last couple of weeks. So you will definitely be seeing more videos in the upcoming weeks. Let me know if there's anything that I hold that you want to see demoed or no more information and my thoughts on those products and I'll definitely be able to get those out to you as well. Be on the lookout for this look. Very simple. Um, in case you're wondering though, because it is sold at Sephora, but I didn't buy it from Sephora, which is why I didn't show it in this video. But for this eyeshadow look, I used the Too Faced Gingerbread Spice, this little mini palette that they have here. I pretty much used every shadow except for that gold shade there. So really pretty palette. And I'm not mad at the pigmentation at all. So definitely be on the lookout. That video is going to be coming up next after I post this video because I basically shared more of the Sephora VIB sale recommendation so 
Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. That really helps me out. It lets other people know that they should be watching this video as well. And I'm gonna like talk to myself, guys. So go ahead, don't let this conversation be one-sided. Let me know down in the comment section what you picked up from the whole, well, what you picked up from the sale. If you're planning on shopping the sale, if you're planning on buying some gifts for people, let me know what you have your eye on down in the comment section below. And if you're not already subscribed here, go ahead and join the K-Squad. We would love to have you. And until next time, beauties, I hope to catch each and every one of you on the next video. Lady out.